At the time, Errol Spence Jr. had a record of 28 wins, 0 losses, and 22 of those wins coming by way of knockout. He was on the pound for pound list and regarded as one of the best fighters in the world. He was the current owner of the IBF, WBC, and WBA World Welterweight titles in the world, and was now facing off against Terence Crawford for an undisputed fight. But what would happen in this fight would completely break Errol Spence Jr. On July 29th, 2023, these two were set to face off for the undisputed titles at welterweight. Both were very confident in the build-up to this fight and just ready to go. The fight would start out hot, but not in Errol Spence's favor. In the second round, Terence Crawford would drop Errol Spence Jr. down to the canvas for the first time in his career, which was pretty much a foreshadowing of what was to come in the fight. For the rest of the fight, it was pretty much a one-way beatdown. And then in round 7, Terence Crawford would drop Errol Spence Jr. twice more. The first one would be a sneaky counter uppercut followed by a right hook to send down Errol Spence Jr. to the canvas. And then the next one would be in the final seconds of the 7th round with a right hook to send down Errol Spence Jr. crashing to the canvas. And this was just the beginning of the end. As in the ninth round, Terence Crawford would throw a bunch of power punches towards Errol Spence Jr.'s way, where the ref stepped in and finally stopped the beating that was being put on Errol Spence. This was gut-wrenching and very sad to see for Errol Spence Jr., as he's one of the most beloved fighters in the world. And the way that this fight went for him was really hard to see, as this was pretty much just a one-way beatdown. But in his post-fight interview, it seemed like Errol Spence Jr. took the loss humbly, as that's just the type of guy and fighter he is. But what happened after all this is said and done? Well now Errol Spence Jr. has been out of the ring for over a year, and obviously he needed some time to heal up from that loss. But I think it's time that he finally steps back in the ring. For months now, it's been teased that him and Sebastian Fundora were going to have a fight. And there was even a time when after Sebastian Fundora beat Tim Zhu, that Errol Spence Jr. came in the ring for a call out. But now it finally seems like that fight is going to happen. The two are most likely going to be fighting in January on a PBC card. With the fight obviously being a world title fight because Fandora is a champion in the 154 division. And on the undercard, the Benavidez vs. Morel Jr. fight is supposed to take place as well. So this card could be very good in its own. But that fight for Errol Spence Jr. is an amazing comeback fight. He's obviously going to be fighting at that top level still, and against a really strong opponent. And obviously who knows what happens after if he can win that fight, then maybe him and Bud could have a rematch at 154 for another unification fight. But it seems like a lot of people are torn on this comeback fight for Errol Spence Jr. Obviously, everyone wants him to win and believes in him, but his opponent is no joke. Sebastian Vendora is like seven foot tall with an insane reach. But we're just gonna have to wait and see what happens on the fight night, as obviously Errol Spence Jr. is an amazing fighter in his own right. The main question really is, is he going to be the same fighter that he was before the Terrence Crawford fight? That's obviously going to be the main sin of this whole thing. As we all know how Errol Spence Jr. was in a fatal crash a few years back, and everyone was quite questioning if he was still going to be able to be that great fighter that he was. But he would prove all the haters wrong by pretty much destroying Jordanis Yugas. In a fight where they literally had to stop it because Jordanis Yugas' eye was swelling so bad. So yeah, I'm pretty sure he's still that same guy. But then obviously we move on to the Terence Crawford fight, where Crawford pretty much just beat the crap out of him for 9 rounds straight. But with Errol Spence Jr. being out of the ring for a long time now, I think that all those wounds are definitely healed up. Now we're going to see if Errol Spence Jr. can bounce back from a loss. Both of this loss just motivated him and made him more hungry to win, because he's not taking any tune-up with Fandora. So hopefully Errol Spence Jr. will be 100% for this fight, because we just want to see the best version of him come in that ring. And no matter what he does, we're all going to be there for him and support him, as obviously Errol Spence Jr. is such a beloved fighter in the boxing world. He's had plenty of amazing moments throughout his career, so let's not let that one loss take over everything that he's done. And he still obviously has time as now he's going to be fighting for the world title at 154. And who knows, maybe he can get that rematch with Terrence Bud Crawford and maybe he'll win that fight. We're just going to have to wait and see if everything can play out in his way. But let me know in the comments what do you guys think about Errol Spence Jr. And what do you think about his potential matchup with Sebastian Fandora? Don't forget to leave a like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys all in the next one. Peace.